Hey, 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 you guys. I am back with another video. Listen, today's topic is all about how to get yourself together in 2020. Listen, 2019 is almost over. It is time for you to get your ish together. It is time for you to stop playing. If you really want to live your best life, stick around because I'm going to help you get your life, girl. So, my name, who am I? Yes, who am I? I am Latrissa Blakely. I am the founder of the I Am Enough movement. I am the founder of this channel, Live Your Best Life, because it's truly, truly my desire to see you win in every area of your life. If you love things or entrepreneurship, ways that you can work from home, if you love motivational videos then this channel is just what you need so if you have not already subscribed girl what are you waiting on hit that subscribe button turn that little no bell notification on and get your life because that's truly what you are about to do in today's video so listen y'all said y'all was going to do a lot of stuff in 2019 you said you was going to do all these amazing things but somehow way or another life happened things got in the way you you got comfortable things just didn't go the way you planned but listen i'm here to share just a little light sometimes you have to just look back and thank god for what didn't happen instead of looking at all the things you didn't get a chance to accomplish all the things and it's not too late because we still got like a week or a couple of days left in 2020. So it's never too late. But what I want you to see is you can get your life right starting today. And I hope that something I said on this video today sparked something inside of you to get your little juices flowing again, to get your little hiney up out that chair, and to do something. Like get yourself together, all the way together. So... The first thing you want to do in order to get yourself together, get your life together in 2020 is you got to make God priority and keep God first in your life. I'm not trying to be religious or anything like that, but I'm telling you what I know that have been working for me. That's true. I've tried it for myself. Tried it for myself. If you keep God first in everything you do, I don't care what you're praying for. You have to keep God first in order for you to keep pushing and to keep moving. Because at the end of the day, your faith and your belief is what's going to carry you through. And so when I say keep God first and pray about everything, I mean, I don't care if you say, God, I'm praying that this tissue don't hurt my, my pooty poo. I'm praying that this tissue is soft as it said. It'd it be anything. You know, you pray about everything. I pray about everything. Like, you know, I pray that God helps me to give me a good night's nice rest. Because how many of you know you can't put a price on a good night's nice rest? Pray about everything, you guys. And then the next one is keep you a gratitude journal. When you can look back over all the things that God has brought you through, when you can look back over all the things that God has blessed you with, you don't have any room to be negative. Because you see, when you're in a mind frame of being grateful, you don't have time to be negative Nancy or negative Sally because you're so grateful for what you have. You're so grateful for what God has already done for you. You don't have time to be walking around like, you know, just being just just being in a mindset where you feel like the whole world is crumbling. Because when you start to shift your mind and your energy and your focus to things that you're grateful for, oh, it changes the game. It changes your mood. So, that's number two, keep you a gratitude journal. Number three, prioritize your life. Put you first this year. Put you first in the new year. Start today, put you first. You put everybody else and everything before yourself. Listen, if you don't put you first, nobody else gonna do it. Everybody's gonna keep pulling and pulling and taking and taking. As long as you give it, people are gonna take, take, take. And before long, you're gonna realize you are depleted and you are empty. Like your cup is empty. T. Just like a car can't move on an empty tank, you can't move on an empty cup. Because if you don't consistently do stuff to pour back into you, to pour back into you spiritually, mentally, socially, you're going to be a very depleted, angry, resentful woman. I'm telling you guys, I've been there, done that. You give and you give and you give. And it's nothing wrong with giving. It's great to be a giver. 
it does my heart good to, to be a giver. But what I want you to understand at the end of the day, you got to put you first. And I always say, put you on your calendar, just like you put everybody else on the calendar. You know how you put your hubby's appointments on the calendar. You put his dentist appointment, his doctor's appointment. You put, if you got to meet him, date night. You, you got your kid's doctor's appointment on there. But where you at? So put you on the calendar starting now, starting today. And then the fourth thing is set some goals in each area of your life. And I always talk about three goals, three areas of your life. That's personal, family, and business. What are some goals that you want to achieve in 2020? I need you to sit down and write that down. Two to three things that you want to accomplish in the next 60 days, in the next 90 days, whether that be in family, business, or personal. Set some goals for yourself. That motivates you to keep going forward because you have something to look forward to, something to strive to do. You got to put yourself first, but also when you're making goals, you got to make some goals for every area of life. That's how you begin to live your best life when you start to put you first, when you start to make goals. And I'm saying being healthy goals, you know, realistic goals, but some goals that are scare you. Like, you know, you can't reach this if you don't have God. You know, if God don't help you, this thing is not going to come to pass. You know, if you don't grow into that stronger woman, that woman that you was created to be, if you don't do this, like, you know, you need some help to make this goal come to pass. Them the kind of goals I'm talking about. I'm not talking about little bitty goals. And even though every little, every goal is good. And when you reach it, everything deserves a celebration. But what I'm saying is in 2020, I want us to go harder. Like put something so big on that vision board that it scares you. Like, you know, if God don't help you, it's not going to come to pass. And then come back here on this same video and quote and let Latursa know what God blessed you with, what God helped you to achieve. Because I want to celebrate you too, honey. We all can get a piece of this success pie. Do you hear me? It's enough success for every one of us to get a piece of the pie. So there's no need to be jealous, no need to be envious, no need to knock somebody else down to make you look better. No, it's no need for none of that. Because at the end of the day, there's enough room for all of us to get a piece of the pie. And then the next one is, exercise and drink more water. And I'm talking to myself included to drink more water, to move more. I want more energy, more stamina in the new year. So I got to get up and work out as much as I don't like it no more. I got to force myself to keep moving, to keep getting healthy, to keep drinking and eating the right things. It's okay if I have a little cheat meal every now and then, but 90% of the time I want to eat right, drink more water, exercise at least twice a week. So what goals do you want to do health-wise? Sit down and write that out. Tell me how does that look? And then the next thing is, like I said, celebrate your wins along the way. I don't care if you meet, reach half of a goal. Celebrate that because you know why? It motivates you to keep going. Okay, so you got this win. Now you want to keep going because you want to see if you can get another win. It's like a game, like you competing with yourself. You competing with yourself to be the best, highest version of yourself. And when you win, when you do something, accomplish something, then you keep moving and you celebrate along the way. That gives you, that motivates you to keep moving. And then the next one is use affirmations to speak life. Use affirmations to speak about where you're going, not where you're being. Use your words to create that life that you dreamed up. Use your words wisely. I'm telling you, your words and your ears, they have power. You be careful what you say because you have what you say. So watch your words. Speak life over yourself. Watch what you say. Watch what you say. No, and, and then S is watch what you do and watch what you listen to because your ears and your eyes are always open. They're always listening and they're always watching. So you want to feed your mind with positivity. Feed your mind with things that you love to do. Feed your mind on things that are going to help you mentally, spiritually to grow. And then the last and final tip that I have for you guys in order to get your life together in 2020 is don't entertain gossip. I don't care how juicy and good it is. You got to be that bigger person. Say, mm -mm. Because as my mother used to always say, if they gossip to you about somebody else, they're going to gossip to them about you. 
So don't entertain gossip. Don't be that one to always sit in there. Because even if you're not saying nothing and you're sitting there, you're still taking part in it. Because whatever they're talking about, it's going in your spirit. It's going in your ears. And then sooner or later, you're going to start talking about that same stuff. Because negativity, you know, misery loves company. So don't be that one to set up and entertain gossip. Don't be that one to always carry bad news. You be the bigger person. So today's video, I hope that you learned something. I hope that something I said is a blessing to you. I want you guys to all remember that God loves you. I love you. Remember, you are absolutely enough. And I want you to stay tuned because Live Your Best Life Academy is coming in 2020. And I don't want you to miss it. So if you're ready to... Um, if you're ready to live your best life, I need you to click on the link below this video and get on the waiting list so that you will be the first one to get the news when the program launches. So I hope that you have an amazing time. I hope that you have an amazing day. Remember, you are absolutely enough and everything that you need. Oh, honey, it's already on the inside of you. God bless, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.